Hi, good morning everyone. Monday morning back at the shop. I just want to remind everybody on ELTs, this is another one of the things I see missing in logbooks all the time. There's a requirement for an annual check in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions that needs to be in the logbook of the aircraft every year. Now, some of the manufacturers say every four months, some say every year, etc. We try and make certain that they're done all the time at the condition inspection. So in the process of checking them, we'll at five after the hour, or in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions, because some of them are different, we'll perform a test on them. In this case, we have an RV-10 that had the old ACK 450 ELT in it. And I want to remind everybody, especially for those of you who might have this in your aircraft, there's an AD on these. It's 2017-16-something, uh, I think it's 01. You can look it up. The reality is quality control is a problem with these things. They issued an AD. And uh, sure enough, we found one that just the output on this was an extremely low. You can hardly, hardly hear it. So we're going to replace this one. Uh, we'll get another ACK. The EO, EO4 is a really good substitute and one of the ones that we've been installing. So again, this is an operator requirement to make this ELT entry in your logbook. you got to pay attention because the batteries don't always expire with the condition inspection. Some batteries are 20 months, some are 23 months, some are only 15. The D cells that you put in here uh, using Duracell or the EverReady D cell ones that are spec'd, you know, they can go out four or five years. We tend to use half of that date when we'll put a date on the thing and make sure it gets checked annually. All right, take care.